Richard Schiff joins the show right now, diehard Nick fan. And while I know you have lots of love in your heart for the New York Knicks, I know baseball is your real thing. And the Yankees, who have really turned a corner here, Brockman, our producer, a diehard Red Sox fan, not having a great back half of the summer. I knew that night in the Bronx when Verdugo got hit in the back with a baseball, it was going to turn the fortunes of both these teams. Were you in the bleachers in Yankee Stadium throwing baseballs at Alex Verdugo? What happened? Uh, no, if it was me, it would be a whiskey bottle. <laughs> Come on. Do you remember the Pete Rose event back in uh, in 1973 before you were born? No, I don't remember that. I wasn't born. It was the Pete, Pete Rose and, and Bud Harrelson got into a fight. Uh, and Pete Rose pretty much, you know, kicked the living daylights out of him. Mm-hmm. And the Met fans were a little bit angry the next day. And that's the game that I went to, even though I wasn't a Met fan. And, and fans were hurling uh, whiskey bottles at Pete Rose in left field for beating up little Buddy Harrelson. And the uh, contingency of old Mets, including Tom Seaver, and if you remember, Willie Mays was back on the team that year as well in 1973, went out to, uh, to, the, to left field to, uh, to plead with the crowd to please stop hurling um, uh, flying objects at outfielders with red uniforms. Yeah, and uh, that reminded me of that when Verdugo got hit. Pretty stupid stuff, though. Really stupid stuff, but a moment that I feel like maybe galvanized the Yankees or got them back on track because since then they've been one of the better teams in baseball and they've been playing well. How how do you put this Yankees team and this season into perspective? And this is why I love talking sports with you because you bring up stuff that happened in the 70s before I was born and you put things in their proper (laughs) context where I get all excited. Uh, Tell me a little bit about your thoughts on this current Yankee team. It's a, it's a good thing to bring up. You know, the 70s was my favorite uh, decade as a Yankee fan because I saw the team that became the 77 and 78, 76. They finally won a pennant after 12 years. <clears throat> and I saw the team evolve, you know, step by step, getting Willie Randolph in the trade and, you know, and Munson, Rookie of the Year, and then Gidry comes up in 75, 76, and so on. So, um uh, uh, this team was, uh, we thought was going to be that kind of team. we well, seeing the team evolve. That was going to run a little mini dynasty, you know, three, a few years ago with Sanchez and judge and, um, and the other guys, uh, and it didn't turn out that way. And it, it's a frustrating, so frustrating to watch this team this year. I know they're playing better, but it doesn't give me a whole lot of faith because, I, I just don't get the lack of small ball. It was Billy Ball that, that it made the difference in the, in the 70s, you know. And in the 90s, you had, you know, Tino Martinez led the league with sacrifice flies. You know, I, where are they? Where, you know, where's the stolen base? Where's the bunt? You know, uh, Odor bunted the other day, and I started screaming at the TV. It's like, thank you. <laughs> You know, I, I, you, the thing is, you can't build. The Yankees are going to perennially, perennially be in it, right? We know that this year is going to be a struggle to get in it, but they probably will do that. Then you have to look at the team, how it's, how is it going to function, and how is it going to perform under pressure against great pitching in a short series? And are you built to win those tight one nothing two one games? Um, and they're not. They're just not built for that. Not only that, but the, the, the biggest key in the 90s and 2000s was uh, Mariano, right? Without Mariano, they're not that dynasty. And their and they're closing and their relief right now is, is very shaky at best, although it seems to be putting itself back into order right uh, now. So, I, you know, it's a very frustrating baseball type of baseball to, to watch nowadays, even when they win. I like Rizzo because he's a contact guy. Uh, they they have more lefties in the lineup, which is you know thank thanks thankfully, <laughs> finally, uh, I don't understand the way the team was built uh, in the last two years. As good as Voigt is, and as good as some of the other right-handed hitters are, you have to have balance, you have to have speed, and you have to have contact hitters and people who know how to bunt to win a short series. Richard Schiff joins the show. You know him from ABC's Good Doctor, diehard Nick and Yankees fan. What would Otani look like in pinstripes? Oh, uh, very, very, very nicely. <laughs> As such a baseball fan, you must love seeing what he's been able to do in in such a short time in the bigs. Well, he's a you know a stunning athlete. I mean, to have that kind of power and to have that kind of arm, 
uh, you know, I, uh, you kind of root for a way in which he won't get uh, broken down and hurt, you know, like he has been. Um, but they're all get they all get hurt nowadays. Um, but yeah, it's remarkable. I, I don't get to see him perform very often because uh, I'm not in LA anymore. But uh, yeah, no, it's 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 special. And he has speed, you know. And, you know, and he hits for average. You know, all the all all great things. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.